All right, what's up, guys? This is David, A.K. Reverse Long, and today uh, I got the the co-founder of Flash Research on the podcast, uh, Nacho. And um, yeah, so Flash Research is a new tool. It's um, it uses financial like financials, filings, historical data, and more uh, for trading. So it's like very useful. You get to see like I was using it to look at the gappers and to look at some fundamental stuff. And um, yeah, so Nacho is over here. He's in in Spain. He's gonna explain to us everything about Flash Research, and I'm also gonna do a screen share. So, uh, in a in a few minutes after we you know we have a conversation, we're gonna switch it to a screen share, and Nacho is gonna guide us through how Flash Research works. But before that, uh, what's up, Nacho? So you wanna maybe tell us a brief background on yourself and how you created this and everything? Yeah, what's up, Nacho? Hello, David. I'm pretty happy to be here. Uh, this is my first time being in a in a podcast, and I'm happy it's in, in yours because I I watch uh, your podcast and I I really I really like what you do. Um, so, Fly Research was born uh, mainly because uh, a necessity of ours as a traders. Uh, we initially had to look for information to trade stocks in very many uh, pages and sites. And we thought about um, narrowing it to, to one app and also including statistical um, insights and and all the things that we could need as a traders. So so the idea came to reality. Um, I work for, uh, with Fernando, that is uh, my, uh, my, my partner. And he's the, the guy who, who I, who's I've been trading with for a long time, uh, learning and, and that stuff. His brother is a, a, a developer, a programmer. So we started uh, thinking about how, how, could we, how could we do, uh, do it. And the main things that, that we thought uh, would be us useful um, was regarding to, to data, to data tracking and having like a solution to track data in a very easy way, uh, because in the past you had to make Excel sheets, you had to um, work with APIs, uh, you had uh, you had to do complicated things that took so time, so many time, uh, and we developed this to do it uh, very quickly and very straightforward. So, yeah, as I will show you today. Uh, this is very very cool for trading. Uh, me as a trader and and other people I know that that use it, it's like a game changer because man, it's it's so quick to look at everything. Uh, you have it everything in in one page. I don't know, man. I, I like it, and not not because I, I am the co-founder, but because it's so useful for me as a trader. So I hope um, I can share it with um, so many people, uh, so they can benefit it too. Awesome, man. It's always cool to see like some traders that like you're like you, you, your imagination goes as you're learning trading. You're like, wow, I can come up with this and you know how to program and and some ideas pop up. And uh, for me, I'm always on the lookout for new things, new tools, new edge, because like, you know, I, I think it's just, you know, trading in general, like is pretty new retail trading. And so all the tools are not developed yet. So we're still getting new tools constantly. And you guys are on the forefront of like figuring out these new tools so flash research we're about to get started right now it's it's pretty pretty cool stuff so all right so nacho uh i'm gonna start the screen share and um yeah you can guide me through it the main features and uh yeah let's uh and i'll ask questions along the way okay perfect all right let's, let's, go. See. All right, let's go first of all sorry about my english i know it's a little bit messy i speak spanish mainly so <laughs> and that's it <laughs> No, it's cool. All right, let me see. I need to screen share this. Why is it not? Let me see. Oh, right here. Okay. Because I don't want to share my DOS. Uh, <laughs> you see all my my uh, my money in there. Okay, so um, all right, Nacho. Okay, so do you see the screen share? Yes, I see it clearly. Okay, so how do you want to start? Okay, so this is uh this is the front page for those that don't know. Okay, so flash research it's flash flash dash research dot com. Uh and this is the front page. 
and everything is web based, right? There's a is there an app? Uh, like a... no, at the, at the moment it's uh, web based. Uh, in a okay. in a future, we maybe do it a like a desk a desktop application, but not at the moment. At the moment, it's cool like this. It's it's very comfortable to use. So if you like, let's go to open app at the open at the app. left screen. Okay, right here. Uh, on my computer, it's on the right. So on the right, yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, so um, okay. So we have uh, the first thing that pops up is uh, it looks like gappers and volume. Okay, so this is like the 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 first page you will see when you enter the app, and it's like a page more um, focused on the market sentiment, the overall market sentiment, specifically in small caps. That is the the market that we focus on. Uh, here you can see the amount of of gappers on a monthly basis. Uh, on a weekly basis and on a daily on a daily basis, so you can see how the how the amount of gappers that that come on each day, each week, or each month uh, are fluctuating. Uh, fluctuations, and you can like maybe gouge the market a little bit with this. Uh, then you have the the volume. Um, how is the volume evolving? As you can see, it's a it's a pretty significant decrease in volume since, Mar since March 22 till uh, till now. We could see. Um, then you can see the dollar volume is the same, but uh, dollar base. Uh, as you can see there, the the decrease is massive. Um, then at the at the um, at the right of the dollar volume, you can see like a little bit like a like a little calendar uh, as I would see uh, say uh, those uh, triangles are days you will see a line separating between uh, every group uh, a gray line uh, you see the line yes it's uh okay this, so this line right here right it's each, uh... yeah each group it's like uh it's like a, it's a month uh, so it's like a quick way, a quick way to see the the gaps of uh, your choices. In in this case, it's set by default uh, to hundred percent gappers, and you here can see very quickly how many um, and when uh, have you seen hundred percent gappers. So it's like wow. a quick way to say, okay, uh, there are six days since the last hundred uh, percent gapper. Um, if you go so to the so this is tell me, tell me. okay. So uh, want to summarize that, okay. So this is one month inside of the, the line, and these yeah. colored in squares are the hundred percent gappers. Exactly. And is this of uh, of the whole market, or which stock is this? Is there? No, it's it's like uh, the whole market. It's like a it's like an overall view of the current market conditions. So you I can see. watch it. So so, okay. So there were a hundred percent gappers these days, and then. How do you see how many hundred percent gappers? No, it's it's like a, it's like the, the starting point as okay, you see. Okay, point. okay. This not this is not very specific. Uh, we will dive into the the more specific yes. uh, things sooner. If you go to the left, uh, to the right corner, and the upside here in on this screen, no, uh, below in in the calendar section. You yeah. can set the yeah. You can set the uh, gap value you want, and the and the volume and the price. This is like a starting point. This is a, yes. very little information, uh, but it's like to see where the market is at the moment. Yeah. Um. Then if you scroll down a little bit, okay, close the window. Uh, you will see the average change from open uh, of stocks. In this case, it's uh, by default set. At the stocks of twenty percent uh, minimum gapper to uh, five hundred with a minimum volume of uh, one million and a price of one dollar, but if you scroll up to the right uh, corner of the screen, you will see a filter like the one on the calendar to to change it and and customize like uh, you want. Is it here? Yeah, you okay. for example can look for sub dollars. I don't know. Uh, put a yeah. max price of one. A, a minimum of zero and a gap, I don't know what you want. And you can see like the overall move of those gappers uh, and the overall statistics of, of those gappers. This is like the first window you look when you uh, log in and, and see how is the, the small cap land uh, trading. So interesting. Okay, so October. Oh, yeah. This is the average move of the gappers. Wow. You can see it on a monthly basis, weekly basis, and and, and daily basis. 
Okay. And so here, for example, we see the gappers. Let's say this is August 4th, and we go to August. So it's somewhere around there. So that's how the gappers were performing for the no, month. No, but, but this window of the calendar is separated from the rest. This just for looking when uh, were those 100% gappers. The rest of the of the stats on this page are um, according to the filter you set on the part of uh, above at the right. The one that I, I showed you. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like separated. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Okay, so um, what's next? Okay. And then below, below of, the, of that uh, window, you can see the last performance of, of gappers. You have a, a quick view with the percentage decrease or increase and the name of the ticker. So, so it just goes by o the order of gappers uh, exactly. over 100% in this case, uh, over no, 100%. in this case, over 20%, because this, um, the, the, oh, the yeah, calendar yeah. window is, um, is separated. The rest goes, um, uh, is yeah, it's, it's 20%. Okay. So the last one, VSME, I see. And, uh, does it have the dates of these? No, it's just the overview. It's like overview, the, the whole, okay. yeah. It's a, like, okay, I got you, got you. Now we are going to dive into the more specific data, uh, oh, so the more, uh, the data that, that we most uh, use more in a daily basis. This is like more like a, like a Friday a, recap or like a Sunday recap yeah, where you awesome. go in and see yeah. how is the market performing um, to plan for next week, for example. This is great. So right here, all the gappers over 20% or down except FEM yeah, exactly. one. I know I remember this one. This is very, <laughs> but yeah, uh, very other, other than that, <laughs> yeah, other than that, it's uh, been straight down. Okay, yeah, exactly. so uh, yeah, great to know. Okay, that's a nice overview when you open up the page. And uh, okay, so now what's next? How, how do we now let's go to the right corner and click into the next icon, which will be the ticker analysis tool. This one here, you can look for a specific stock. Um, let's go uh, 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 for maybe a a uh, a u b i y uh, the one that you are trading. Oh now. yeah, uh, yeah, I got out of it now. <laughs> but it's a sub pet. It's like a sub dollar stock. You know, it's not a yeah. popular one exactly. to trade. But uh, but yeah, it has some fundamentals that uh, I like to use too. So maybe it's a good example. Yeah, let's try it but, out. Don't you trade uh, sub dollar stocks usually? In a, like slow market, in a slow market, man, this, this, uh, October has been, you know, it's kind of slow and you can tell uh -huh. by the, by the last chart we had, like October is a straight downfall. Um, in that case, like, you know, I, I trade what the market gives me and there's been some, some, uh, lower price stocks that like, I, I don't, I'd rather not trade them, but like there, there, there's nothing else that's okay. like fitting my criteria, but, and these are like, extended like for example AUVI is uh they put an offering in yesterday they didn't do a PR for the offering because okay. companies don't have to do a PR uh yeah. they they only do it if they want to so they're not required so they did it they snuck in like an offering and they haven't priced in the offering and then the stock goes up 60 percent so like and and there's nothing else for me to short that I like so I was like all right I'll I'll Put a it's like the size. last option you have. Yeah, right? yeah, the last, and I'll do like very <laughs> small size. So it's just like, you know, okay, it it, it it pays for dinner. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's not nothing crazy. Well, it's a know? dinner, man. <laughs> it's a dinner. You won't say no so, to a dinner. <laughs> no, no, exactly, exactly. So, so yeah, let's let's use AUVI. So, um, okay. So first, here at the at the beginning of the of the page, you can see the the stock. If you click there uh, on that window. No, there at the yeah here. If okay. you click here, you will see ah, a, nice. a a description of the company, so you can quickly view uh, what they do. You have the website you can you can access. Uh, you have where do they are located. Sometimes you click there and it's like a like a garage or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool to having this uh, like in a first page. Uh, so you will see the full time employees, the sector, the industry. So, let's see. Yeah, you click here and wow, you're straight nice. to Google Maps. Oh man, nice. I, that I've is never... sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... Where is this located? <laughs> uh, New York. Okay. 
Yeah, this is really sketchy, man. This is the the office of <laughs> AUVI. It's <was> crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's very sketchy. Very oh sketchy. man, that's a good example. Okay, so so <laughs> what made you guys want to put the address here? So you guys look at fundamentals too, or like look at a little bit of fundamentals, like. Yeah, when we approach a stock, uh, one of the first time that uh, one of the first things, sorry, that we look to is uh, what are they doing? I mean, wh what is the the function of the of the of that company? Uh, how many employees they have? Uh, where are they located? To, to have like a like an overview of the of the current um, company that we are looking into. So we thought uh, that was a nice information to have at the beginning of the page because it's the first time uh, it's, look. Uh, it's the first thing uh, that we look as a traders. Yeah, it's so, it's a very attractive layout that you guys put, and right there is convenient. The location is it's really yeah. useful, and the number of employees is is a really good indicator to understand what what kind of company is this. So now you yeah. can put 115 employees and this is their headquarters. This is like a really, this is super sketch. So this is really good to know. This is good stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we got that. People need to know that this is an, an app developed by traders for our trading purposes. I mean, uh, taking it to the public was like, uh, like before. And it does, it wasn't like the first uh, thought that we had. So I think it's very suitable for everyday day trader because is uh, what work for us um, and yeah. that we know uh, that works for other people. So it's a pretty genuine genuine um, intention to the public. Yeah, uh, awesome. So then if you scroll down, you will see a, a trading view, a trading view cha um, a chart that is so intuitive and, and good to play with. If you click there on the, at the volume, Look, uh, click at the, at the volume bar and, and right click. You go, you go to move to new panel below, and you can see the the volume uh, with the with the number of the of the shares that were traded those days. Uh, so you can have it too. Um, for example, in in think or swim, um, maybe the the, the reverse split think is not very well made and the chart yeah. is not adjusted to to reverse split in this case it is adjust, adjusted so i looked more into it than my think or swim uh, personally uh, you can you can see how many splits do they have in this case uh, one mm, and you can see visually the the gappers with the green or or, uh, or red close Really, really good stuff. Okay, great. So you can do like, yeah, I like to cross reference things too. So I'll look at my think like right now. I have in my computer. I have Thinkorswim, and I also have this pulled up, so you can cross reference. Okay, now you understand. Because yeah, Thinkorswim does. Uh, they do mess up the reverse splits sometimes. So it's, yeah, so it's good to have it. Yeah, so exactly. um, yeah. So okay. So then in the bottom here, okay. So you have the number of gaps. Uh, what kind if of you scroll down, yeah, uh, you have the number of gaps, uh, uh -huh. you have the um, the average value of the gap, the average volume, and the average pre-market volume. You have those statistics right in the front. You can see how many times it closed red, in this case, 50%. Uh, and you can see the, the day two statistics as well. Um, if you scroll down... So, so uh, how do you know, okay, so number... Eight eight gaps in how long of a period? Look, I I will I, I will dive into that. If you okay. go to down, you can uh -huh. see the gaps uh, one by one, and you can click them and uh -huh. see them on the chart. So these are the gaps. Okay, so yeah. August. By the by the way, if you go to the right corner of that screen, uh, the no 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 no, the one with the gappers there. To the to the right corner of uh, the up part, the upper part, uh, at the right. No, 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 at the right, at the other side. Oh, here. There, here. If you click there, you can uh, customize it. And in my case, I like to put the pre-market volume. You click uh, there to add, and you can bring it to the front to to see it the first. Um. I like to see it because um, I think it's a very it's a very good like indicator as, yeah, as I would say yeah. uh, to see the per market volume of those days to compare to the current uh, gap day. Um, 
Uh, you can exit those uh, that page. You can. It, it's very customizable, as as you can so, see. So so yeah, I just customized this. Okay. So the pre market volume these days, and you can see it in correlation with the gap. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And it, the gap goes all the way. It looks like a, since two thousand twenty. So very. You can good. also. Sorry, you can also sort it by by gap value, pre market value, date, and see maybe I don't know if if the gap uh, is too big that day. You can sort it so you can see the the bigger gappers uh, first and and go one by one. Very good, great. And so you will see if you if you click there, you will see them on the chart. Click uh, where? Here in the in the gaps. Click, click the gap, each gap, and oh, you go okay. back to the chart, right. and you will see that it's uh, there. That the data the gap. Wow, beautiful. Yes, you can see the pre market also. So that's it. And wow, oh, you guys, this is really organized. So how long did it take you guys to make this uh this app? Like, like one year, something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, nice. And look now at the at the prior uh, window. If you scroll up a little bit, uh -huh. here, if you go to gap day here in the upper part, the, you can see the average move of uh, those gappers. It's like a very useful tool to see in one chart uh, the average move of, of the gapper. And you quickly spot if that gap is tricky, is it the, what you like to trade, or it's, if it's a void, you can see it pretty quickly. And you can see more advanced uh, statistics there as well. Uh -huh. And you see the gate day two as well. Yeah, and day two is is the same for the day two. Yeah, because a lot of gappers uh, continue to fade for day a day two. Um, is there so does this come like um set up with the this this format gap stats gap day and day two or can you add more? No, it's like this at the moment. At the moment, it, they do. It's one really thing that, yeah, so that's the main stuff. One thing that we are planning to do to add um, is like, well, th the next tool that I will so show you is to see how uh, these stocks move, um, how, how similar stocks move. You can put filters like, okay, show me the gappers above 6% with uh, 1 million of minimum per market volume and a price between one and I don't know, three. Um, and you can see the, the movement of those stocks that you choose. One thing that we are going to add is to see uh, here another window where you can see um, those data, I mean that data for this stock. I mean that automatically uh, picks a similar criteria to these stocks and, show, and shows you what uh, similar stocks to this one, in this case, a UBI do. This is something that we are working on and will be so cool. At the moment, we do it manually. That it's, I mean, like a two minutes, three minutes work, uh, but we will do it to to see it right away. Beautiful. Okay, and then um, okay, so we got that. And what about the other pages? Well, there is something uh, missing. If you go to the, if you scroll down in this in this area, no, here in the in the in the current here. Okay. You can see here the market cap, the float, uh, institutional ownership, insider ownership, those uh, those kind of information that we use on a daily basis. Uh -huh. um, you can see the, the SEC filings there, organized. Yeah, nice, you can take... nice and organized, okay. Yeah, it's very, very and straightforward. Notes, so you can write And then notes. notes. If, if this stock is very tricky, you can create a note and put, uh, this is a tricky stock. And next time that you search for this stock, you will see that note and you will say, okay, uh, last time I, I did that. Yeah, very useful. I know in the, as I'm trading, I like to write notes. Um, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a way that where you have it in one, in one place and it saves you. So in the future, you will search for that stock and see, and see the note um, that you write. And then you have uh, yeah other sources here so you can cross-reference. Exactly, to go fast. Yeah. Nice. Um, Cash flow, income statement. Okay, so you could do a quick, you just basic, like exactly what, like you just, what you need to know really quick. And that's it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is good. Total debt, working capital, beautiful. 
Um, and there's one other thing that I was uh, forgetting about uh, here in in this page. If you scroll up to the upside, uh -huh. um, here at the at the down uh, down below the the logo of the page, you will see the tax section. Uh, if you yeah, click there, yeah. no, there at the there. If you click here, you can add a tag. Maybe let's say that this stock uh, move with I don't know marijuana stocks. You can yeah. click. Uh, you can uh, make a tag for marijuana stocks, and then um, if you tag uh, every stock of marijuana, you will have like um, a very straightforward list of stocks with that tag. And then in the future, when when a marijuana stocks uh, pick a lot of volume, you will see that uh, maybe um, can be intelligent to to look to to related stocks. And this is a way that you have it very very organized and yeah. Very, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's exactly okay. So it's like a watch list. You can create a watch list or track your stocks like this. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Great. So, okay, that's it for this uh, for yeah. this page. Let's go to the following one. This one. Yeah. The filter here. I think it's the is the most uh, sorry the words badass. A part of the application. I, this is the one that I, that, I, that I love the most. You can search for a group of stocks that move similar and see how they beha behave by seeing, uh, based on parameters that you choose. It's like um, looking at the statistics, but without having to do complicated spreadsheets or taking data from uh, various sources uh, or in seconds. It's very useful. Um, Look, if you click on the gap value and add uh, this one right here. here, yeah, filters. Uh, you may want to look into, I don't know, Chinese stocks to see how they, they behave. Uh, you can select by country or by region if you, if you want to include ASEAN stocks. Uh, whatever oh, by region oh, ah yeah. okay that, that is pretty cool but it, because there are so so many stocks from taiwan or singapore yeah uh, yeah yeah places like that there's a way that you can make a bucket wow okay uh so if i want to see Me, look <laughs> what okay. sorry okay so like all of uh asian stocks how do i see that yeah just delete this uh, delete this one at the right corner or oh, region yeah. okay yeah click region, region. Uh, okay and you can see us yeah hey, how do i see all of them uh enter press enter no and you can if you if you want to see just asian stocks uh -huh. you can click uh, there and you will see the gappers uh, from the, the the low gappers the high gappers and everything uh, click the 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 date range that you want to that you want to uh, oh, okay. to look till, till I guess till. October six right is today and from let's say no at the there at the upside on the data from let's say twenty twenty for example yeah you you can you can type it if you want so you oh, oh okay that's, that's guess, the same yeah. Okay, and uh, uh, how do you go to it? And you can put uh, various filters like gap value. You can see the the gappers from I don't know maybe forty percent. Uh, minimum to 40. say five hundred percent. You can select uh, the pre market volume, for example, to to avoid those stickers that has very little volume. Um, and well, Minimum. there's a bunch of filters that you can choose and play with. Max, let's say no max. How do you have like no max? Yeah, I I normally don't put max. I just, just I, I like it. yeah yeah just yeah. It. And then if you go to Actually, apply yeah. filters, yeah, you, you go to apply filters and you will see uh, how they behave. By the way, for three years, okay, so 236 gaps, average gap value, 80% is average. And does it show that, that the highest one? What was the highest one? Let's see, over here. 
this is the average um, the, the average data uh, you can see and uh, they got the average value the two values uh, all the overall statistics um, you can see uh, they uh, sorted by sector if you go below by exchange by region well uh, by country you can see how many gappers are from from china from singapore from malaysia uh, the industry wow okay wow yeah this is badass this is a super badass this is very useful for us yeah so yeah and then if you go there, you you will see the average move of all those 200 and I don't know how many uh, examples. Uh -huh. You will see that it's a very clean fate. Yeah, free market. It's the average of a, of, of all of them, right? Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah, very clean fate overall. The same statistics. Those are the same. Yes, yeah, uh, Chinese and Israeli stocks, man. Yeah. Israeli <laughs> <laughs> stocks, right? That's how it works, yeah. <laughs> So um, you can see the 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 average volume too, not yeah. just the average price change. Look at the at the chart of average uh, price change from open. You can see the volume. There at the at the at the left at the right corner. On the average uh, chart. There you can click at the volume and you see. Um, how is the volume uh, typically moves? So uh -huh. if one particular day you are um, trading a Israeli stock and the volume is uh, going up by 12, you know, that's out of the statistics. So you can take measures. Awesome. Awesome. And you can check to see per year. Um, how far back does it go? Because uh, I know some traders, they go back now like, at least five years. Yes, it's it's seven years. Seven years. Okay. So seven years. Very good. Very good. I think it's quite a lot. It's and a lot. You, you can do per year, three years, five years, seven years. Very, very good information. Exactly. I like how it's so intuitive. You know? And there's one trick that I use uh, personally. If you uh -huh. click uh, control and scroll the the scroll of the mouse, you can have it more, yeah, more uh, like zoom out and see. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I use it like this. I like to use it like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Specifically for vertical uh, screens, in in yeah. an horizontal screens, it, it's more easy to see it uh, right away. But we, as the strange strange people that use, use vertical, the vertical screens, screens. It's, it's better to yeah. do to do to see like this. Yeah. So awesome. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you yeah. go to to the up part of that, no, 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 no. There's more. Uh, no, at the left there, historical stats. Oh, Here. Yeah. Okay. You can see them sorted by month. Yeah. You April, can see here May and and January. You're looking here at, at 2023 uh, gappers. You can click there at the at the corner uh, of the right side. No, at the at the year. And you can choose what year uh, you want to see or or if you want to see overall to see everything um stacked. So March last year was a lot of gappers. Let's see 2021. Chinese gappers. We're uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese Asian gappers. Ga yeah, yeah, Asian gappers. Okay. 2020, there was none until July. Very interesting. Okay. Beautiful. And here, if you put overall, you can see like the overall, how, how the month uh, are, uh, which is the biggest month uh, normally and, and that stuff. And overall, I see. And here you can add uh, windows if you want. Yeah, just like the other window. Yeah. Okay. Anything okay. Else? Mm, yeah. 
uh, the, the next uh, window is the number of gaps sorted by year and month. No, uh, at the low. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, the one. The, here before, uh, that's it. Uh, no, the, the middle one, this one. Here you can see the number of gaps um, sorted like, by month in yeah. a very visual manner. Yeah. Uh, mm, you can change it uh, to number of look at the, at the upside. Uh, you can play it with this and, and see it in different manners. Mm. You, you can, instead of number of gaps, see different information. At the, no, at the left side here. You yeah. can see the total volume, the gap value, here's high spec and, and all those kind of things. Yeah, then we got volume. 2021 rolling in October for Asian gappers. Exactly. This yeah. everything for Asian gappers as you choose. Yeah. So you get yeah, so it's good to play around with it. Okay, so all right. Awesome. So we have different visual representations of, of uh, all these stats right here. Awesome. You can have a very good time playing with it. I mean, it's yeah. endless. The possibilities yeah. are, are very big. Yeah. Awesome. Here you can see the, the average moves, uh, just like uh, like the, the first page, but uh, on a more specific basis with your filters. And show the pre-market data. Wow, interesting. Where do you guys get all the data from? Uh, from an API. An API, okay. So yeah. from different sources, because you get the fundamentals from different things? And At like... the moment, from one source. Um, but as we evolve, we are going to, to include new things. Uh, for example, we, we want to include a new feed. Uh, we want to. We are going to put a backtesting uh, tool that is in the making. Um, I don't know. We have many, many options, many like ideas. And and we will constantly be um, updating it. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what's what's next over here? Here you can see the gaps. total gaps by year in a very visual manner. Chinese. Uh, this this last yeah, year, yeah. Chinese stocks were. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a lot. It's uh, it was gaining steam, and then this year, full 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 blow. So um. <laughs> What else? You can see the average change is split by year. Um, in a video, in a very visual manner, you can see how how it um, like evolves uh, from year to year. You can uh, also select uh, which year you want to to not to see and which one you want to see. If you click there, you, oh, you can take, take out this one. Yeah. So we can see this is uh 2020. Yes, yeah, so let's look at. Wow. Okay. This is 23. So they they fade they, they um overall. And it, yeah, and there's uh the most gaps this year. Very cool. So you can just play around forever with this stuff. This is like the type of entertainment I like, you know, <laughs> you productive. So you yeah, can... it's, it's very, it's very entertaining. Yeah. So you can, you can be creative with this. Okay, great. And you could do the pre-market. And you, if you put the split by data option there, here, no, yeah. no, here, you can also take out some years if you want to see one specific year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right here. But by the way, by, by the way, David, you will kill me, but my, my camera is dying. So Okay, yeah, no, it's cool. That's that's fine. Oh um, okay. Are, but you you can still be on the on the screen, right? I mean you can still see what I'm doing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, but but my face won't be showed. Nah, <laughs> sorry, cool. sorry about that, man. As, nah, as I cool. said, this I think, is my I first think time and <laughs> it's begin beginner mistakes. Yeah, no, it's cool. I think uh we got the screen share of the chart is what matters. So that's the most important. Nice. Um, yeah. So, okay, great. So 
all these tools so we can be creative with to f figure out more edge. You know what I mean? I'm, so there's a lot of systematic traders that I know that would love this stuff. So they do. Yeah. They can't get enough of this, like this kind of stuff, like data for the gappers separating by year. It's, it's very clear and easy to use. Like, um, thank you. With, with the different types of visual representations and like very simple features that are, yeah, this is great. Okay, Thank so you, what's man. what's yeah no awesome man thank you so all right so what's what's next with it? Uh, then if you go to the app part uh, again, you can see the bucket section. Buckets. Uh, in this case, if you have a uh, filtered like a white uh, chunk of guppers, you can see which um like which buckets perform the better. Now you are selecting the forty to fifty percent guppers here. In this case, you will see 64 gaps and you will see that they close 76% uh, red. Right. Yeah. This is like a, like a quick way to, to see which uh, bucket of, of data performs better. So um, in this case, 120 to 150% uh, gap close red. It's 92% okay. of the time. Is that correct? Yeah, but you have less uh, examples in that bucket. Uh, but you, okay, yeah, only you, you can quickly look at that data and see uh, and, and analyze yourself in a very quick manner what is uh, the best bucket in that bucket that you created before. So it's, a, it's a, like a way to optimize everything, uh, your search in a very quickly, quickly way and visual yeah. way. Awesome. Um... Great. And that is the price bucket. It's the same, but uh, by price. Uh, like stocks uh, from 0 0.5 to $1. Uh, this one was by the gap um, percentage. And this one below is from the from prices. You can see how uh, which prices perform the better, uh, and fade it, the better or, or fade uh, less. Yeah, I like that it matches it up. So... The, you know what I mean? It, it, the bubble pops up for both categories, of the, the count and the closed direction. So let's it's, it's, it's everything made to to be fast and straightforward. So you can see it clearly right away. Yeah. So the best one, okay, this one, 10, yeah. So in this case, you had a 2 to $3 one, 48 gaps. 85% close red. Very, very good information. Boom, right there. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, really cool. And you can I, you can just play around like a different... We just tapped in the Asian region, but I can go to specific countries. I can go through different sectors. Yeah, this is really good. Okay. Exactly. You can customize whatever you want and look for, for your edge. That's a yeah. good thing that you can build your edge and your uh, like nature inside the market of small caps. Awesome. Okay, so that was the buckets and what's next? Gap list. Yeah. And the gap list is basically to see them manually. Um, look, if you this is more comfortable if you scroll the like zoom uh, out the this page. If you zoom out, you will be able to to see. Okay. And here, if you if you click, no, 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 not so much because if you if don't you will yeah, yeah here like small. this. If you click at the stocks, you will see each copper individually. So if you want right to here. like um, make a test and see how you have been, uh, if you if how how can you trade those stocks, you can go one by one and and looking into the charts wow. to study them. Wow. Look at this one and squeeze it back at the, later in the day. Um, wow. So you can study them and, and uh, you know, yeah, come up with some, some edge. Like maybe you cover earlier in the day instead of the end of the day. Because you start to notice they do that. You know? Exactly. So by studying you spend them. hours yeah. looking at this and looking individual gappers. It's so cool to play with. Wow, beautiful. You also can sort them into I, I don't know. Let's say you want to look only the 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 highest gappers. 
you click on the gap value and, and sort it uh, by gaps, for example. Yeah, let's look at the gap. Okay, so AMTD is a form 100% on 2022. SAI April 2023. Yeah. TOP, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the day after the after hours. That's crazy. <laughs> it, it, it went again. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, By the way, so... you, you can adjust the chart to splits. There at the at the right corner of the chart, you can click adjust splits. No, the at the upper part. Right corner on the upper part. Where? Right, right, right. Here? Oh, this oh. side. Yes. Here adjust splits. There are the upside. Oh, right here. Yes. Split adjust. Okay. Yeah, so like um yeah, because sometimes it's not adjusted. Like like the price would be so weird, it'd be like a million dollars, but it it's not split adjusted. Is that is that what it's for? Exactly. Exactly okay. for that. Yeah, perfect. Wow, so this is good. Okay. Um then we have let's see. PTZ. Oh, this one. I lost a lot of money on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this was it. Yes, yeah, so a split adjusted, okay. Yes, right that. Right there. Yeah, so it went uh three to yeah, I remember this one. That's right. So they did a sixty cent offering. I'm gonna get off topic over here for a bit. It is sixty cent. This is a Chinese stock. Sixty cent offering. Bowstead was the underwriter. I I actually interviewed. I don't know if you saw Nacho. I did an interview with the underwriter Bowstead guy, Dan McClory. It's a popular mm -hmm. podcast. It's a. He was the guy that listed the stock on the market, pretty much. And he didn't know he came on my podcast to like. He didn't know I'm a short seller. And wow he, i didn't yeah. know that i didn't know and that he, man he, i will look it yeah so he wanted to pump a stock he thought he's coming on my podcast to pump a stock and no i just said no way i was like yeah come on the podcast whatever i'm not gonna tell him i'm a short seller but then i i told him hey you remember this stock ptz because he from bow said you guys it was a 60 cent offering and it squeezed to nine dollars in the after hours and then it squeezed <laughs> brother yeah. that's so insane <laughs> that's an incredible so, story man <laughs> yeah uh it's there so like um but now these days people can't understand they're like oh it's uh it's like they these are sprite the prices are so weird but here you just go and you get to really see what happened with yeah. the right price so the split adjusted so like that's just very good i i don't use trading view but so like you guys having it makes it really convenient i don't need to go to trading view it's all in one spot yeah exactly just it so you well man that, that 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 story is crazy yeah i will look yeah, into that podcast I, I didn't see that so he this is the guy that he's the head of china underwriter of bowstead and he he came on like it's not my responsibility to say hey I'm sorry, I'm not a pumper. You you should go to another podcast. I just say, hey man, just come on the podcast. <laughs> well, that, that is that, that is savage. That is savage. <laughs> he, he, he flips out on the podcast. Hey, check it out. It's a, it's a popular one for the for the people that that are fans like diehard friendly bear fans. They all know <laughs> of this guy. I have, I have the video right here. I will I will see yeah. it. Uh, yeah, it's hilarious. We'll, we'll so, so, it out. so think of that of this stock, and also when I mentioned this doc he he's like oh my god this is not a pumping podcast this is a something how does this guy know about that <laughs> that's <laughs> what he's thinking so wow well, it must you, be you so awkward that. for him yeah it was awkward i think he he he's, he flips out you're gonna see it is it's entertainment <laughs> but um <laughs> but yeah so so this is very good okay because people forget about it so now here it shows up in the bucket and you can study it and compare it to the new ones you know it's so it's so good this, man. yeah it's so cool you gotta see the the halts look at those like violent halts i i personally as a as a trader i love to use this uh, this feature to look into let's say i i look for i don't know gaps over 70 percent of uh, of gap uh, with a pre-market volume of i don't know one million 
I like to dive into those wrappers manually and one by one and imagining trades at the weekend. So I can familiarize myself with uh, this kind of stocks. It's, it's a thing that I do as, as, a, as, a, as a trader and I love to. And this yeah, is a way you, to do it very quickly. This is a, a way, yeah, you spend time on the weekend uh, studying the stocks and the buckets and coming up with ideas for, to trade and then during the trading day. So you can use this outside of trading hours and during trading. That's what I like about it too. Exactly. It's, like, it's, it's not just for studying the stocks outside of and getting data and edge and you can actually use it intraday. Like a lot of quick information is available. It's really good. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what's next? So next you can go to the, there at the calendar section and you here can see the, um, the corporate actions in a very quickly manner. If you go to the filter at the right corner of the screen, uh, the upper corner here, uh, you can select what you want to see. If you click on acquisitions, they will uh, you will see them. Uh, spin off, yeah, click everything. Oh, I see, will. I see, I see, I see. Bank and you can go day by day looking uh, what uh, have been so and, and what will be. I can see all the acquisitions. Yeah, how often are there acquisitions? Oh, okay, so some days there's a lot. Okay, and then symbol change. Listed, delisted. It's very good information. I, I don't know anywhere else that has like this all this stuff. So easy this is to cool see. because let's say I don't know. Imagine you know that stocks move into uh, into groups, and sometimes the the stock splits. Uh, are uh, in fashion and every stock that has a split uh, runs. You can see uh, the stocks that had a split before and and look it uh, in a very quickly way uh, in one page. It's yeah. very useful. Yeah. In a future, we are going to add new features to this calendar. Um, at the moment, it's like very, um, it's a starting point. We are going to put uh, the, the runners there. So you can quickly see the the chart of the of the of the stock that ran that day, and and some more uh, more things that we are going to work that we are working on right now. So yeah, awesome. the moment you can see the the um, corporate actions and it's period period so uh, useful. Yeah. Um. Cool. So you gotta click them here. You gotta see the color. List and symbol change. Very good stuff, man. Thank you, man. I, I, yeah. I love seeing you enjoying, man. Yeah, this is like a toy. You know, I can play with this all day long. <laughs> and I, like I'm, right now, as we're doing this, I got I got a lot of ideas coming through my head of like what what to uh, explore next and study up next, you know. And it's a Friday, so like this is gonna be for Saturday and Sunday, you know. And uh, yeah, you have to you have work yeah. to do on on the weekend. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Good nice, stuff. Man, that's uh, cool. Yeah, what what else? Anything else? Uh, there is one last thing that I want to show you. If you click in settings, this the uh, tax right uh, real, yeah. related stuff. If you click to settings and go below, uh, no, uh, sorry, go here and tax and notes. You can see the tax and your uh, and the notes that you have uh, all in one way, yeah, uh, in one place. The overall tax on the overall notes. So and that goes from like what we did before. Uh, you can tag it like um. Uh, Whatever you, whatever you like. Let's see, like, like the underwriter. Like I put Bowsted. I could have all the Bowsted stocks that I tagged. Yeah. Or something so like that. Let's say you see a new of uh, again marijuana stocks moving. Yes, exactly. And, and you and you don't remember what the stocks you have uh, with the tag of marijuana. You go here and you see all the stocks that you had uh, tagged with that uh, between others that you had with other tags. Or, or let's say that um, you are thinking of a stock uh, that you put on a note saying that it was so tricky to trade, but you don't remember the ticker. You come here and you see the, the notes in a very uh, fast way and straightforward. And if you click there, you will go to the stock. So in, the, in this case, I can show you, I cannot show you because you don't have anything yeah, in, gonna tag up it. here, but, but that's so, it. It's, it's, it's so pretty yeah. useful. Yeah, I, I like to tag the marijuana, you know, like artificial intelligence, all this kind of stuff. You can tag them and then you can track them and see it for yourself. Yeah, how they perform. Yeah. Good. And you write notes. Great. So cool. That would be um, everything. Yeah, that, that sums it up. So, yeah, also, I wanted to mention uh, 
So we, um, I asked Nacho, okay, so anything you could do for the Friendly Bear community or whoever watches the podcast? And he said, yeah, so we could do, you, uh, we had a code. You came up with a code. Is it like Friendly Bear 15 or something like that? Um, yeah. So 15% off whoever listens to the podcast. Yeah, exactly. The code was, uh, let me check it out. Uh -uh -um. It's on the show notes also of every podcast I did. So Okay, I, perfect. I it, it was there. FB15. FB Friendly 15. Verb 15. Yeah. Yeah, great. So this is good stuff, man. And it's only going to get better, you know? So Thank you, brother. Yeah, I think it's one of the I think it's one of the best out there for like what, you know, this is like this is like the, the easiest to understand to use intraday and outside of uh trading hours you can use it like like crazy you know so good stuff man and um yeah i'm excited man good job i'm excited for you guys too it's, it's only gonna get better you thank you are, brother yeah I, I know it's gonna get better because it's the as i told you before is is the main tool that we use as a traders and we as a traders are very organized and we like to have it in one place and we made this place public as you see so Perfect. so the, the interests are very alienated with the with the community um, and that's it we love it and and we know people we love it too awesome and okay so nacho where else can people find you you got the website flash-research.com i think twitter um, is a uh, flash underscore research yes uh, our twitter is flash um Underscore. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> yeah, it's like a underscore. The line at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Underscore research. That's our Twitter, and and that's it. If 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 someone has uh, any doubt, you can re uh, write us there, and we will respond very fast. Perfect. All right, Nacho. Well, thanks again. We'll we'll catch up soon. Thanks for thank you, David. And sharing uh, everything. I love being here. Sorry if I, if my English is uh, sketchy. <laughs> but nice. I, I've been so I've been so um, it, it feels so nice to be here I, I love it and I watch your stuff and I love it so awesome. thank you man thanks man alright Nacho I'll see you later have a great day and we'll keep in touch and discuss everything uh, with Flash Research soon thank you for everything David Thanks. All right. we keep in All touch right. see you bye